in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can do the mediation analysis for migrate outcome in R, especially if you would like to write R code from scratch. I make the another video in which I show you how you can use the process macro to do the same thing. So let me just briefly rehearse a bit the R code in the method one, namely use the process macro. First, you read the data. And here we read the data from the GitHub. And then we print out the first a few row of data to see how the data looks like, double check. So this step actually is optional. And then we use the process function. We, and then tell the data file name, and then tell the Y variable name, X and N variable names. And then we say that we define use the model four. This is the way to do the mediation analysis for binary outcome in R, you would like to use the process micro. But here, this in this tutorial, we are going to focus on that how we can write the R code from scratch. We are going to still use the log or ratio method, the same method, use the process macro, but we're going to use write uh, the function from scratch. The first step is that we, we're going to read the data, yes. So we can say that, okay, it's that one. Read the data. So we can just read the data. And we even can print out how the data looks. The second step we need to write out the the basic function to do the media to calculate the indirect effect. I have prepared the R code, so I'm not going to write all the R code here. So this is the R code um, I have prepared. Basically, this function it define how to calculate the indirect effect. This is the linear regression in the A part. This is the logic regression in the B part, and then you calculate the indirect effect by timing A. 1 times b1. You would like to know more the theoretical part, you can refer to the method 1, that video I explained that with more detail. So here I'm, going, I'm not going to repeat what I said in that tutorial. So this function, you run it, it's so nothing. It's just like, okay, we just like tell the RStudio environment that we, can, we run this function. Now it know what this function is. Okay, now the step three is the critical. We are going to we are going to like uh, use the book function to repeat this five thousand times. Similarly, I also pre have prepared the R code. Let's just, just copy paste. We use a library called book library, and then we use the function book li book function from the book library. And then here is the data we in the step one we, we said. And this is the function we roll in the step two and we do the recent poly five thousand times. And we say as a book dash uh, mediation. And we can point out the indirect fact. This has a quite a few parameters that we can point out. So this is indirect fact. Then we can also use the function called book dot ci from the book library and we can print out the computer interval so let's run, just run it it will take a while because we're doing 5000 times so as you can see that this is print out the indirect fat 0 0.3199 and this is the computer interval as you can see that computer interval doesn't include a zero that means that the indirect fat is significant and to double check whether we calculate this indirect fact correctly, we can use the process macro to double check. So this is 0 0.3199. We can use the method one and we can run it. So this is the method one. We, here we use the process macro.
So as you can see that the inductive effect is a sui point, so, uh, zero point sui wang nai nai as well. So that means that we ca calculate the inductive effect correctly. Of course, if you, if you compare the computing the interval, they are not exactly the same because they, so you can see that the computing interval is zero, the upper, lower bound is 0 0.1, 0, 2, 0. And here, we are pretty close, but they are not exactly the same because the, when you do the bootstrapping, the resampling process has some randomness. So we cannot really reproduce exactly the computing interval, lower bar and upper bar exactly the same across these two methods. So if you have any questions, feel free to let me know. I think this tutorial, basically I explain everything I have planned. And also I'm going to post this uh, R Markdown PDF in the video description so you can download it and you can run all this R code to try it by yourself. Okay, thank you for watching.